Judy, former teenage beauty queen Emma Coronel Espuro is married to the Sinaloa drug lord El Chapo. Tonight, a love letter of sorts, not written to her, but to the federal judge on his case, written about her. Joaquin El Chapo Guzman tonight wants a prison visit from his wife, but she is also a convicted drug felon, and so it's unlikely they will be spooning in his cell anytime soon. In the shadows of the Rockies, America's supermax prison is home to some of the world's most dangerous and despicable criminals. Few are more menacing than this man, Joaquin Guzman. At age 66, the billionaire and prison leader of the bloodthirsty Sinaloa cartel tonight has penned this new letter, translated into English, and entered tonight into Chapo's court file. In the letter to the judge, Chapo asked to authorize a visit from his 34-year-old wife and bring the girls as well, apparently referring to his daughters. The drug lord notes that his wife, Emma Coronel Aspuro, will see her own court probation end on September 13th, allowing her to travel to Colorado. He's subject to what are called special administrative measures. They're very restrictive measures that are put in place against the most high-risk uh, it, prisoners, uh, the ones that are pose the greatest danger of, of running a criminal enterprise or posing a threat to other people, and he's on that list. It's unlikely he's going to get what he's asking for. If the family is ever cleared to visit, rules prohibit revealing shorts, holder tops, and see-through garments, spandex, or clothing that looks like an inmate. For now, Chapo is subjected to the nation's most strict lockdown rules that former federal prosecutor and ABC7's chief legal analyst says very few of the nation's 100,000 federal prisoners face. It would make sense for him to make these requests, but the risk is with somebody like him that there's always something more. This is someone who escaped from prison once already. The risk is, the worry is, that he's going to try to do something nefarious through his wife, and that's the, that's the concern here. Despite El Chapo's life sentence in America's Alcatraz-style supermax prison, his Sinaloa drug cartel still controls a vast majority of illicit drug sales on the streets of Chicago, according to federal agents. U.S. law enforcement here says four of Chapo's many sons run the show, the so-called Los Chapitos, tonight targeted with huge rewards for their capture. But nevertheless, they're still out there. Yeah. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.